hey guys welcome to all of you on our channel that is Richie UIAS so friends as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains so in this video we will be talking about a daily current affair MCQ series in which we what we do we daily discuss MCQs uh, from current affairs perspective so today is 25 November so let's see what are the questions for today so the first question is consider the following statements first is article 137 of the constitution gave supreme court the power to review any of its judgments or orders second uh, second statement is it is not necessary that only uh, parties to a case can seek a review of the judgment on it any person aggrieved by a ruling can seek a review so we have to choose that which of these statements are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so the answer is c so supreme court has you might be aware of the fact has recently recently uh, uh, sent uh, its order uh, and uh, 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 it's, uh, uh, it's uh, for review that is the order relating to Sabrimala judgment so review uh, review please said to be moved over a Yodhya verdict too so article 137 of the constitution gives the supreme court the power to review any of its judgments or orders so the court has the power to review its rulings to correct a patent error and not minor mistakes of inconsequential in Consequential import. So grounds for review petition in 2013 ruling, uh, Supreme Court uh, laid down that three grounds for seeking a review, um, and uh, there are three grounds, and these are the discovery of new and important matter or evidence which was not within the knowledge of the petitioner or could not be produced by him, or the mistake or error apparent on the face of the record, and any other uh, any other sufficient reason. Sorry, not insufficient, sufficient reason, which means a reason that is analogous to the other two grounds. So who can file it and uh, it is not just necessary that uh, only those persons or parties that uh, that are uh, that are involved in the judgment uh, they can seek a review any person who is aggrieved by the ruling can seek a review so the time frame is that as per 1996 rules framed by the supreme court review petition must be filed within 30 days of the date of the uh, judgment or order so while a judgment is uh, the final decision in a case an order is an interim ruling that is subject to its final verdict so also then there is a difference between the word judgment judgment or, or order of the Supreme Court. So judgment is final and interim uh, and order is interim. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements about the 50th Conference of Governors. The 50th Conference of Gun Governors concluded at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, second, the first uh, conference was organized in 1949. So we have to choose that which of these is correct. Let me tell you friends that none of the uh, 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 we have to choose uh, here are not correct. Yeah. So here none of these statements is incorrect. So that means both are correct. So the answer is D. None of them is incorrect. So recently 50th Conference of Governors was included at Rashtrapati Bhavan and President Ramnath Kovin presided over this two day conference so please note that uh, that uh, uh, this, this conference of governors is presided by uh, the President of India and uh, uh, all the uh, all the governors and lieutenant governors of all states and UTs participate in it and this is this was the 50th such conference to be held in Rashtrapati Bhavan so first such conference was organized in 1949 and two day conference discussed the important thematic issues like tribal issues reforms in agriculture, Jal Jeevan mission, new education policy for higher education and governance for ease of living. So now let's move to the next question. Next is recently the term uh, uh, Bougainville uh, was in news. Which, uh, what is that? Uh, a, a serious disease caused by a bacteria in Sudan. Uh, a B is a satellite launched by European Union Space Agency, a extinct animal of which we have discovered a, a skeleton. D is a tiny island in Pacific. Pacific. So friends, let me tell you that the answer is D, that is a tiny island in Pacific. So pro approximately 30 years after a decade-long brutal civil war uh, uh, that, uh, that, 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 uh, that happened in Bougainville, a tiny island in Pacific, it is going to be uh, going to the polls to vote on its independence from Papua New Guinea. So geography is here so you can see that uh, this uh uh, Papua New Guinea, Guinea is there so this uh, this is basically the island Bougainville so and uh, then uh, uh, Bougainville Island is the main island of the autonomous region of Bougainville of Papua New Guinea so this region is also known as Bougainville province or the North so uh, Solomons so this island is the largest of the Solomon Islands archipelago forming part of Northern Solomon Islands which is political se politically separate from the sovereign country also called Solomon Islands so Mount Bulby at a 
2700 meter is the highest point now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first these parks will have an ecosystem with infrastructure building and enabling the common facility to consolidate and synergize the capacities of the downstream domestic downstream plastic processing industry uh, second under uh, uh, the scheme the government uh, provides grant funding up to 50 percent uh, of the project cost the, just a minute friends just give me a minute sorry for the disturbance uh, so we have to choose that which of these statements are correct uh, let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct uh, so the answer is C so chemicals and fertilizers minister DV Sadananda Goda informed Rajya Sabha that the government has approved set, uh, setting up of six plastic parks in different parts of the country so these parks will have an ecosystem with infrastructure building and en enabling the common facility uh, to consolidate and synergize at the capacity synergize the capacities of the domestic downstream plastic processing industry so under the scheme the government provides a grant funding up to 50 percent of the project cost and the remaining project cost is to be funded by the state government beneficiary industries and by a loan from financial institutions so these parks are located in Assam, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Jharkhand and Tamil Nadu so uh, four new plastic pl parks have also been given in principal approval for establishment in West Bengal, Haryana, Uttarakhand and Chhattisgarh. Now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first the all india house household consumer expenditure survey is traditionally a quinquennial recurring every five years survey conducted by the government's national sample survey organization second it is designed to collect information on the consumption spending patterns of households across the country both urban and rural so we have to choose that which of these statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so the answer is c so uh, government of india has announced that in view of data quality issues the Ministry of Statistics uh, uh, has uh, decided to not to release the results of All India Household Consumer Expenditure Survey uh, by NSO, NSSO during the 2017-18. So this uh, more detail you can read in this photograph uh, by pausing the video. So this consumer expenditure survey is traditionally a quinquennial that is recurring every five year survey. So it is conducted by National Sample Survey Organization and it is designed to collect information on consumption spending patterns of households across the country both urban as well as rural so data gathered in this exercise reveals the average expenditure on goods and services and helps generate estimates of household monthly per capita consumer expenditure as well as distribution of households and persons over the MPCE classes so we uh, it is government has announced that it is separately examining the feasibility of conducting the next consumer expenditure survey in 2020 21 and 21-22 after incorporating all data quality refinements in the survey process now is con uh, next question is consider the following statements first India's largest global bio uh, India summit 2019 concluded in New Delhi second the three-day event was organized by Department of Biotechnology Ministry of Science and Technology Government of India along with biotechnology industry research assistance council thought it was India's first largest biotechnology conference let me tell you friends that uh, all these statements are correct so the answer is all of them so India's first largest biotechnology conference that is global bio India summit 2019 it was concluded in New Delhi so three-day event was uh, organized by Department of Biotechnology Ministry of Science and Technology so department plans to uh, turn the GBI into an annual event uh, with support with the support from all stakeholders the so, summit provided an opportunity to show is the potential of India's biotech sector to the international community and identifying cre uh, creating opportunities and deliberating on the key challenges uh, in the area of biopharma, bioagri, bioindustrial and bioenergy, bio services and allied sectors. Now let's move to the next question. Next is Dogdo Islands is disputed between South Korea and a China, B North, uh, North uh, C Japan, D none of these. Uh, none of them so friends uh, this Dogdo uh, island is basically a matter of dispute uh, between uh, South Korea and Japan so this is uh, uh, Dogdo island so there has been some uh, uh, re uh, rearrangement issue with the five so it is it uh, this, this has been presently uh, mentioned so uh, this is uh, Dogdo the, in recent years the re relationship uh, between South Korea and Japan have deteriorated given the territorial dispute over the Dogdo island known as the uh, Tekshima in Japan so while South Korea controls them uh, the islands are claimed by Japan 
so extra knowledge is that in a major policy reversal south korea has decided to continue after 2016 military intelligence sharing agreement with japan that it previously said it would terminate amid, amid ongoing tensions over wartime history and trade so previously south korea had decided to discontinue intelligence pact called general security of military information um, by november 22 unless the japan decided to review its export control measures so the idea to exchange intelligence between the two, two countries under this agreement was felt amidst a growing threat from North Korea, especially when it started conducting nuclear tests and uh, developing ballistic missiles. So agreement was eventually signed in November 2016. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, the first enactment made for dealing with the foreigners was the Foreigners Act 1964, which, which uh, provided for the expulsion of foreigners and their arrest, detention, pending removal, and for a ban on their entry into India after removal. So, second is the Foreigners, uh, tribu foreigners Tribunal Order empowers district magistrates in all uh, states and UTs to set up tribunals to decide whether a person staying illegally in India is a foreigner or not. So, we have to choose that which of these statements are correct. Let me tell you, friends, that both of these statements are correct. So, the answer is C. So, first enactment made for dealing with foreigners was Foreigners Act 1964, so which provided for the expul expulsion of foreigners and their arrest, detention, pending removal, and for a ban on their entry into India after removal. So, Passport Entry into India Act 1920 empowered the government to make rules requiring persons entering to entering India to be in possession of passports. So, this rule also granted the government the power to remove from India any person who entered without a passport. So, it empowers the government to make provisions for regulating the entry of the foreigners into India. So, its most important provision is that burden of proof, proof lies with the person and not with the authorities. So, this has been upheld by a constitution bench of the Supreme Court. And the Foreigners Tribunal, Foreigners Tribunal Order uh, 1964 empowers the district magistrates in all states and UTs to set up tribunals to decide whether a person is uh, staying illegally in India as a foreigner or not. So more details you can read by pausing the video. Now let's move to the next question. Next is which of the following statements are correct about chit funds? First, under a chit fund, people agree to pay a certain amount from time to time into a fund. Second, periodically one of the subscribers is chosen, chosen for drawing a chit to receive the prize amount from the fund. So choose from the following options. So let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. So Lok Sabha has passed Chit Funds Amendment Bill 2019. So Bill seeks to amend Chit Funds Act 1982. So 1982 Act uh, regulates Chit Funds and pro prohibits a fund from being created without the prior sanction of the state government. So name names for a Chit Fund uh, that specifies various uh, names for this uh, uh, Chit Fund that is uh, Chit Fund and uh, Kuri and then Bill additionally inserts fraternity fund, rotating savings and credit credit institution to this list. So substitution of terms is that gross chit amount as the sum of subscriptions payable by all the subscription subscribers of a chit, share of discount and the net chit amount uh, and presence of subscribers through video conferencing. So these you can read by pausing the video. This is quite lengthy, so obviously uh, it will consume a lot of time if we started discussing it. Now let's move to the next question. Next is which of the following statements are correct about Himalayan mission, uh, Himal mission, uh, uh, Himayat mission? Sorry. First is Himayat is a, a placement uh, linked skill training program for unemployed youth of Jammu and Kashmir. Second, this uh, initiative uh, uh, of ministry, this is the initiative of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. So we have to choose that which of the following options is correct. Let me tell you, friend, that both of these two options are correct. So the answer is C. So, Himayat is basically a placement linked skill training program for unemployed youth of Jammu and Kashmir. So, the initiative uh, is of Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India. So, there is a mistake now. Okay. Uh, so, sorry for friends, there is a mistake here. So, minist uh, this initiative is under the Ministry of Skill, uh, Ministry of Rural Development. So, uh, the Government of India and it, uh, it is being implemented by Himayat Mission Management Unit, uh, JNK State Rural's Livelihoods Mission, Government of uh, JNK within the state. So, Himayat is under the implementation in the state since 2011. So, it was recommended by D, uh, Dr. C. Rangarajan Committee report, which was submitted to Prime Minister in 2011. So, under it, youth are provided skill training for uh, skill training for a duration of 3 to 12 months in a range of skills for which there is good market demand. At the end of the training, the youth are assured of a job and there is one year post placement tracking 
to see how they are faring so friends this is all about today's discussion if you like this discussion if you like the video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends you can also uh, uh, join our telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen here we have more than 15,000 subscribers that follow us and on this channel we keep on posting various resources for the CSE preparation so if you are interested in joining this uh, channel and if you are interested in access getting access to those public resources then you are more than welcome to join this telegram channel the link of which is there in description box so you can check the description box and can join uh, this telegram channel and also if you have any doubts queries you can mail us at achieve ias21 at gmail.com or you can also contact us at 8968920720 uh, lastly friends we also have a website on which you can visit on which we keep on posting various resources for the csc preparation and also you, this is a youtube channel which you are watching so you are uh, requested to please uh, subscribe it so this is all about friends today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead